By Crom, we're painting flesh. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing today, Tim? We're painting flesh. Look at this. Human flesh tones. This is another one of the AK uh, series of paints that we've been covering. Kindly donated by uh, AK for us to have a look at, but otherwise, no, um, like we're not shills, no money's you know, got across hands for this. But we've already done the uh, the green skin, orcs and green skin, I think it's called, uh, that we were really happy with. Uh, we, we did the neon colors set that was fine as far as neon colors go. Today, this one I've been looking forward to the most, actually. Yep, we've prepared our paints, spitting them out into the lids here. We can already tell they're gonna be pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've each chosen our own subject. Now, the, I, the only thing I will say is that I can't see how a lot of these are going to make flesh. Um, I'm quite colorblind, I have a tertiary deficiency. So like a lot of these, meet, like how black red, violet red and wine red, half of the box to me looks like they put the wrong paints in there. <laughs> Cause these are the ones I would normally use for flesh. So those, those are the deep shadows. So these are gonna be the very base layers. Cause we, I suppose we are red, right? Cause there's, yep. there's blood in us. Uh, to, <laughs> uh, to help, we've got a, uh, what'd you call this? Uh, isometric. It's got a proper name, hasn't it? I can't remember what it said it was called now. But yeah, it's like a... Like a, like a really angular uh, head model, just to yeah. help show the planes. Poly, like a poly... what's the word? It's like a low, low poly, poly. There we go. Low poly model. head. And, um, and, and the idea is it shows you where the, the light bounces off, eh? Yeah, just to help, almost as a paint by numbers guide, mm -hmm. to see where the light's gonna kind of shadow different parts of the face. And hopefully we can apply that to Conan and an ogre. I would say my, my, my face is much smaller than yours. I have a D&D &D figure that, I, that I've been wanting to uh, paint up for a long time. Specifically has a lot of flesh, his belly's out. Uh, and you've got a really cool little uh, bust there from uh, from Conan. But we're going to try and document these as best as possible. We're still we're still sort of ironing out the kinks with these painting videos, but I hope they're getting better. Let us know in the comments how bad we suck. <laughs> yeah, please do. We love reading those. Uh, so we just want to mention that we're only using what's in the box with the exception of black and white. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna incorporate this, but I know that I, I would like to have a black and a white to go with this. Yeah, white especially, because the, the lightest of the six there is still probably not light enough for the crazy highlights, eh? Black's gonna get muddy, yeah. but I also have black hair, so. I, I mean, you can use other colors that, other than the flesh, of course. Yeah, but, of course, but, we're, but seeing as these boxes were, I, I, Here's the best way to put it. These boxes are sold to be all you need to do whatever it says on the cover, right? Exactly. And this one, this one says human flesh, so we're gonna see if we can do human flesh. Although I'm tempted to throw a little bit of green in mine, seeing as he's like a half ogre. Another green model. Um, that's all I've another done at the minute. One, I'm, re I'm obsessed. These ones, like my box of the green ones is about half full now. <laughs> I've painted that many <laughs> green things the last few weeks. So I kept the darkest tones to the underside. And I'm just kind of mixing a few, going back and forth. I'm still trying to find the right level of his skin tone, uh -huh. which, you know, we'll hopefully get there in the end, but... Well, because he'd be really, like, tanned, right? He, yeah, he's a, he's a bit more tanned than I've got him up here right now, so I'm still kind of figuring that part out. I went ahead and I did the eyes, just because I like to paint the eyes Oops. first, and then put the skin back... Back up to it, yeah, to the yeah. Eyes. yeah. I've, I've just got a big old red guy right now. <laughs> right. Because I'm going for a more traditional uh, miniature paint where you sort of do a base and then build up. So at the moment he looks like a, a devil. And I'll do you one better. And I have a guy that's just a single color and he's going to stay that way. Hold on. <laughs> he might get a flesh wash. But there you go. Oh, I can see a bit of flesh. So yeah, what did you use there? I used uh, AK's beige red yeah. and it will forever be beige red. Beige red. With maybe a wash. Um, so right now I'm just laying down ultra dark shadows uh -huh. where the muscles are because when I go over it a little bit it's going to kind of come through. Bring them up, um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and what have you done there for the, the sort of the Homer Simpson, the, the old uh, the five o'clock uh, shadow there? So I mentioned I was going to use a little bit of black, it was uh -huh. ju it's just a touch of black in with a couple of the colors uh -huh. kind of in the mid-tone range. Uh -huh. um, just very carefully layering it up from dark to light again and I just made sure I made the lip kind of a lip color okay. um, and then kept that sort of 
scowl that I want. And then the same sort of colours going down into the neck there in that sort of darker spot. Yeah, I went, I don't know if you can see this direction, I went fairly dark underneath the neck. Uh -huh. And in the, in the deepest part back there, I'm going to keep that pretty pretty red. Um, it's looking good. So far, so good. What, you gonna, what color are you going to do is nipples? Um, Dark purple. What have we got? Yeah, here we go. I've got some uh, <laughs> dawn yellow. There we go. Dawn. That is Nipple signs color. of an infection. <laughs> Violet purple. And Conan should go to his nearest apothecary oh, to sorry. get an ointment. Too dark? Nipple, yeah, too dark. <laughs> Nipple jello. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting somewhere. I um, I'm I struggled a little bit with the really deep red as the base layer. That kind of knocked me for six a little. I'm still kind of getting over it. <laughs> um, but we're getting there. So I've used a, let me focus on it, a combo of that that deep red, and then I've gone into the beige red, uh, this one here, um, basically just done a mix of the two, uh, there's about two or three layers there to, to, to get that fine definition, uh, and then I need to work on some real highlights. So started right under here with the with that sort of deep red, and then slowly sort of brought it up with the beige, and now I'm going to start working on some highlights. Okay, so I've worked in the beige skin, uh, the little beige red is it called, I think? Beige red. And I just need a couple more highlights now and I'm gonna call this guy done. Well, skin done at least. So the good thing with this model is that it's pretty much just all skin, right? That's, that's why. great. That's why I chose it. That's very pretty, yeah. So, um, yeah, red, the AK paints, you've used mostly these three. That kind of set of three that we found with the green tones. Um, is still there with this one, but then there's a bit more of a sharper contrast, right? The, the darker is darker and the lighter is lighter. Yeah. yeah, you know, usually we call that a triad, and they've definitely put some effort into making some good uh, color connections in these boxes for sure. Mm -hmm. But like I said, there's a, you're doing a, you're a bit more work here to get between the the, uh, the darkest one and the middle one in there, and then like you say, that light is very, very... Uh, uh, very light, which is interesting because we, when when I yeah. saw this out of context, I was like, "Well, you're gonna need some white in that. That's way too dark still for the lightest." But it kind of isn't really. So that's way over there. You can see I, yeah, I mostly blended that into this, into this. I didn't, I didn't go into the sunny skin as much. Mm -hmm. uh, I found the red just too red for what I'm working with. Yeah, and then um, and if there was doing bruising, you know, you could maybe do a little bit into the the. The warm tones on the the violet, but yeah. I was happy with this one. So, no, but you can. And to all intents and purposes, I'm calling my guy done as well. Um, not quite as subtle a transition, but you know, it's a D&D model, so it's smaller scale. You want that sort of contrast on there. And I'm kind of happy with how it's come out. Uh, I um, I've kept the palette slightly closer, I feel. Uh, than than Tim, but then the because my blending is not as good because I'm a new painter. I feel like it actually looks more contrasting. <laughs> and that's where my camera's batteries died. So a few days later, we went back to the finished products. We are really happy with how these came out. The AK paints just continue to impress us. Great pigments, great color, great consistency, straight out the bottle. They are genuinely fastly becoming our favorite new paint line that we sell in store. There'll be links in the description to all the products we've used in this video. And look at that, we even did turn Conan into a fridge magnet too. By Crumb, I'm magnetic. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit subscribe for more from the Game Chamber.